My big thing is community policing. We're working on our staffing numbers. What I'm trying to do is assign some of our uh, senior staff to really to a council person, you know, like assign with them to work with them uh, along with me and say, hey, you know, uh, council person, what is going on? What are, you, what are your constituents telling you? If uh, the council folks constituency is saying, hey, uh, I've got some issues at this house or this house or this block, or I don't, I don't feel safe and here's why, our council persons can meet with our folks and say, hey, you know, just more closely. And then we're also trying to work with them to reformulate some of our neighborhood associations. That's important because our staffing's kind of low, so we need folks out there to really tell us, you know, to really you know, rejuvenate those, those community connections as bonds. And also, so when somebody calls, it's not just uh, Lieutenant X or Captain X or, or Chief, it's like you can put a face to a name. We don't create the laws, but we have to enforce them. I mean, we are the busiest, uh, one of the busiest agencies on the shore. I mean, anything can happen anywhere at any time. The calls for service, um, we're, we're extremely busy. For anybody looking to get into law enforcement, to get a start in law enforcement, this is the place because you're going to get the experience. Right now, we're looking for five police officer positions. So they can come in two different ways. One is just somebody really off the street with no experience, right? So that's somebody that we would do the background check on. And uh, there's bonuses involved in that as well. We're offering some incentives. So if you're, if you're coming off the street, you get, get through that. You sign a three-year contract. And uh, depending on the bonuses, it may be a bilingual bonus if somebody speaks another language, there's bonuses involved there. Uh, college education, and we have a variety of different incentives that we can put a package together for. Five and a half month academy, they run two a year, and they're at Warwick Community College, the criminal justice program. When you come out, it, it, it's all geared toward making you prepared for being able to handle this job. Uh, one generally starts in July, the first, in, first few days of July. We'll have that person graduate. They'll go into a, what then we call field training. And the field training is 12 weeks where they ride with a seasoned officer to get that experience level enough for them to be competent enough to, to ride on their own at that point. And we're also hiring some lateral folks from outside the area that have an interest in either maybe moving to the shore. And they're also entitled to certain bonuses depending on how that works. And they also get credit for years of service. We don't have to send them to the academy. You know, we just put them directly into field training. We do the background check, of course, and then we'll send them to field training. And they're out, they're out quickly. They're out eight weeks, 10 weeks, they're out. We're also hiring police dispatchers. So they're the folks that work in our communication center that actually, when the phone rings, the 911, the transfers, they come in, they're the ones picking up the phone. They're the ones meeting with people in the lobby, talking to them, listening to the radio, back and forth. What I always like to say about that job, it's one of the toughest jobs in the department because you have to be able to keep all the balls in the air one time. That's another one of those jobs. Somebody can come in, sit in there, uh, and just kind of get a feel for it. 